have nearly 48 hours under our belt at the Redbird Skyport, what we see here is more than meets the eye. To a certain extent, this may be the leading edge of a revolution. A revolution both from a standpoint of innovation as well as truly creative thinking. Jerry Gregoire and his team have decided that there's got to be a better way to serve aviation. As a result, he's taken the Redbird Flight Simulation Group, taken the best that he has there, married it to a flight school, married it to an FBO, married it to a number of other services in a beautiful new facility that was constructed in 20 weeks, and it's called Redbird Skyport. This may be the leading edge of the revolution that we need to be able to revitalize GA for the future. And as extraordinary as this is, we need a dozen more revolutions just like it to really get the ball rolling. But for now, let's take a look at something that's going very, very right and is very, very innovative. Welcome to Redbird Skyport. there are a lot of events in lives we our lives we can remember before and after and we can remember before the computer and we can remember before uh, Steve Jobs came along and gave us so many things and we're gonna have a before and after in aviation because Jerry Gregoire has come along from his computer background and he's going to apply Moore's law to general aviation and from this moment on from this very exciting moment on Aviation flight training for general aviation will have changed, and we're going to say before or after this event took place. Flight training, in our opinion, is very broken in the United States, and, and, and it needs to be completely transformed. And one of the neatest things to me about what they're doing here at Skyport is they're just saying we're, we're, we're starting with a blank sheet of paper and uh, innovating everything. And I think it's brilliant, and I think it's very entrepreneurial and very exciting. Once he finds out what really works well for flight schools, for flight training, for creating a, a marvelous and wonderful customer experience that anchors them into aviation, those best practices he's going to make available to all the flight schools in the country, and that is really going to be revolutionary. Just a, six short months ago, this wasn't San Marcos, and today we are here, and we are just absolutely enthused about the potential that this Skyport has, how it's going to tr truly revolutionize our San Marcos Airport. We are incredibly proud that this is taking place here in San Marcos. I thank you all for being here this evening, and this is an opportunity to celebrate what San Marcos is looking forward to in the next decades and the next years, and seeing history of aviation being made right here in Central Texas. And so thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your evening, thank you. This is really, really big because what Jerry is doing with this is creating an opportunity for people not to learn to fly, but for people to live and enjoy aviation. This is the future of aviation. And I predict that Jerry is gonna revolutionize flight training and he is gonna bring the fun back into flying and the fun back into learning to fly. 2,500, 2,500 airport or uh, flight schools scattered around the uh, United States, and 5,200 is another number for you. 5,200 public use airports. And so, why does that matter? Well, it matters because we're at one of those public use airports in what is now one of those flight schools. Except this one is different. This one is unique. As you've heard this evening, this is a very special place. This is special because it's an experiment. It's a research and development facility that is going to be incorporating all sorts of new opportunities for us to figure out what works in helping students get through the flight training process. Know that AOPA congratulates all of you in San Marcos for your vision and willingness to stop talking and start doing the right thing for general aviation. Also know that we will do all that we can at AOPA to help you be successful and to share with the aviation industry what it is that you learn here so that we can all benefit from it. That sort of success will be a lasting legacy for Redbird. And I don't know about you, but I'm pleased to be here and to be a part of it. And last but certainly not least, 
the person whose vision and enthusiasm brings us all here today, the chairman of Redbird Flight Simulations, Jerry Gregoire. Well, I've got extremely good news for everybody. I'm losing my voice. So this is going to be really short because <laughs> I generally go on for a half an hour or so when I do this stuff. But you can imagine my surprise being here tonight. We, uh, we broke ground on this building a mere four months ago. And even the, building, the process of building this building was part of the experiment to see what we could do and how fast we could do it. We have a saying that simply goes, we can do anything we want. We're Redbird. And I'm very proud of our team and what we've accomplished with this so far. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. Everybody in this room is a supporter, and I thank you all very much. I hope you'll follow the progress and the experiment as we move along. We're dedicated to the notion that we're going to operate this facility on the basis that if it isn't broken, keep fixing it until it is. And we're going to test the limits of all of the uh, aspects of recruiting students, training students, and turning them into airplane owners, which is part of, the, part of the process here. But thank you all very much for coming tonight. It's very nice to have you. Aero TV is brought to you by... Abadine is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidine. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online audio and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net.